Praise Mother Jesus. So, I have come to the conclusion that it is a taboo. It is narcissistic. It is foolishness, stupidity for man to put his trust in a man. I study a place in the Bible, one day myself and Apostle Peace, we also were also um, talking about it. The Bible says Elijah was a very, very great man of God. A man who called out fire from heaven. A man who stopped rain from falling for good three and a half years. So therefore, that man should be a very, very powerful man. A man who single-handedly slew 400 prophets of Baal a day after he called down fire from heaven. And he had a man after him, his successor, who succeeded him. And the man, he transferred double portion of his power into that man's life. And we, we all know that man, his name is Elisha. I hope we have read about Elisha. Yes. Even in our BK, those days, book, book, uh, Bible knowledge, it's in primary school, it, it thought of those days. Elisha had a double portion of Elijah. Meaning, Elisha can stop rain from falling for almost 10 years and nothing will happen. Elisha can bring thunder, fire, and brimstone together with that double portion of power. But yet, this man was limited. Praise Master Jesus. No wonder the Bible told us in Psalm chapter 1, 46 and 3. They put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. If something happened in the days of Elisha, today I was reading it. I said, hey, men that put trust in a man, men, they are so foolish. And that's the foolishness have been taken from us from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, the Bible says Elisha prophesied in the life of a woman called the Shunammite woman. You can get that in the book of Second uh, Kings, chapter four. Just read chapter four. You will know what I'm talking about. So, if you get if you get to about chapter twelve down, the Bible says. As Elisha was always passing by, he was always he always abode in the woman's house. A time came, the woman said, "Ah, my, my honey, this man that is always coming here. Sometimes maybe we give him a place to stay. Let us just arrange the house for him." And they did so. And because of that gift, because of that blessing, the blessing, he asked the servant, "This woman." What is the thing that this one is in need of? And Gazi, the, the, I mean, the, the, the servant said, this woman has no child. And by the power of God, he pronounced upon the woman. He said, by this certain next year, if when I shall return again, you shall have a child. Amen? And as he said it, it was confirmed and the child came. A time came, if you go down to about verse 16 or so. I read verse 16. And he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt uh, embrace a son. And he said, Nay, my Lord, thou man of God. Do not lie unto thy handmaid. This world is coming back again. What goes around, what turns around, goes around. Amen? Or rather, what goes around, turns around. Verse 17, And the woman conceived according to the word of the man of God, and bear a son at that season that Elisha had said unto her, according to the time of life. 18, and when the child was grown, it fell on a day 
that he went out to, to his father, to the reapers, 19. And he said unto his father, my head and my head. And he said unto, unto a lad, carry him to his mother, as always, carry him to the mother. And when he has taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on his knee till noon, and then died. Praise Master Jesus. And the child that Elisha prophesied on died. Now, if you go down to 24, and then she sat down and asked, when she when the child died, say no, it was a man of God that prophesied upon the child. I am running back to the man of God. I am carrying this child to the man of God, who through him the Lord gave me this child. And she sat down the ass and said to her servant, drive and go forward, slack not the the riding for me, except I bid thee. Praise Master Jesus. I am going to the man of God. I am going to who gave me this child. Who do you run to whenever something is happening to you? Then, so she went and came unto the, the man of God, to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar, that, that he said to Gehazi, his servant. Behold, yonder is the Shonamite. Praise Master Jesus. Behold, yonder is the Shonamite. Go now, I pray thee, to meet her. And say unto her, Is it well with thee? With you, woman, is it well with you? Again, is it well with thy husband? Two. Three. Is it well with thy child? Normally, everywhere we expect that this man, we, we know what's happening to this woman. Everyone we expect as a prophet of this caliber to know what is happening to this woman. And some people come here and say, Apostle, I will not say anything, just tell me what is happening to me now. I want you to say what's happening. Hey! Has Apostle Money become, become God now? Hmm. God forbid. Elisha did not know what was happening. Elisha was limited in this area. He asked her, I hope all is well with you. See, if you are connected to two places, I beg you. This one. Amen. Amen. I hope all is well with you. Your husband. And the child that is dead. And he answered, It is well. I love that woman. Yes, it is well. Since that is your question, since you could not, you could not see it, it is well then. Say to yourself, It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. No matter what was happening. Since she see the limit of this man, Mr. Man would have known what is pursuing me. I thought you know it all. I thought seeing it from a distance, you should run to me and know what is happening to me. But this question you are asking me, I will answer you the way you ask, you ask me this question. Okay, Elisha, it is well. And when she came to the man of God, verse 27, to the hill, she, she caught him by the feet. The same woman that said, it is well just now. The <laughs> drama is starting now. I'm reading 2 Kings chapter number 4. 2 mm? Kings chapter 4. Amen. Amen. Two minutes ago, it is well. Now, the rest of it is well is about to start now. You trust God now. Two minutes, two minutes that went, that don't happen, problem comes. And when she came to the man of God, to the hill, man of God, maybe the man of God was, was far from her. If I say to you now, maybe you will run away. Since you could not see what is happening, if I tell you now, you might run away. I have to 
pretentiously get where you are. Elijah, it is well until I get where you are. You know that it is really well. And she really got there. As she got there, you thought I it it is well. You, Mr. Man, let's see what happened here. She caught him by the feet. But Gazi came near to thrust her away because she know the way she was dragging. Ah, my master, you don't do this to my master. And the man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is best within her. And the Lord had hid it from me. The Lord have hid this from me. The Lord want to let me know, no, even though you have the double portion of Elijah's power, I have it all. Elisha, you can only see what I want to see. Prophet of God, you can only see what the Lord opened your eye to see. Don't worry, say those things that are revealed to man, they are for man. But those things that are high hidden, they are of God. No matter who you are. If God has not opened your eyes, you cannot see that man you are running to. If God has not opened his eyes, he can't see it. If God has not answered that prayer, that prayer remains unanswered forever. If God did not do it, no man can do it. Whatever God would do, they may not do forever. That's why I am telling you every day, don't put your trust in a man. If Elijah, who had the double portion of Elijah's power, it means this man should be seeing everything. But he was still limited. Only God had the supremacy. Only God had the power. Only God. The Bible says in Psalm 118 verse 8, it is better to put trust in the Lord than to put, trust, put a confidence in man. Psalm 118 verse 8, it is better to put a trust in the Lord that will put your confidence in a man. If you put your confidence in a man, you'll be confused forever. You'll be condemned forever. You can't go above that man. I'm not saying man and man should not pray together, but don't put your trust in that man. Yes, you will live in confusion all the days of your life. I know this years ago. I say, never ever, never ever will I ever put my trust in a man anymore. Whatever God says he will not do, it will remain not done. I better be begging God. I better be begging him. Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. The only thing that will make God do it for me is sin. There's nothing God wouldn't do for you, sister. It's just a matter of time. If you can be patient a little bit. Say for, the God, say, for the God of all grace, who have called you into his eternal glory, after that you have suffered a while. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. After that you have suffered a while. Say, he will say to you. He said, he will enlarge you. Oh God, is somebody hearing me right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is somebody with me right now? Yes, sir. Brother, sister, this is the mountain of truth. This is the mountain of truth. I will tell you the truth. If you have put your trust in Apostle Emmanuel, you are finished. You know why? Apostle Emmanuel is limited to so many things you don't know. Elisha was a very, 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 very great man of God. What has Apostle Manuel do now that you have put trust on him? What is that thing you have done now? You say, hey, okay, because of this thing you have done, let me put your trust in him. This is Elisha, who the master has done so much. This is Elisha who has done so much. But yet, he was still, she was, I mean, he was still limited. Let me go to that first Peter chapter 5 verse 10. But the God of all grace, who have called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, we are inside the glory of God. Amen. We are what inside the glory, except you are not really born again. If you are born again, give him time, he will do it. 
Just give him a little time. Keep your heart clean. Keep yourself pure. He will surely do it. All those miracles we have seen, it's not a man that did it. It was a time for God to do that's why God did it. If, if it's not your time, pray from me to tomorrow. If it's not your time to glorify yourself, he will never do it. Never. I say what? Never. Amen. But the God of grace who have called you into his eternal glory. By Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while. Make you perfect. He's ready to perfect you. If only Amen. you can wait on him. If only you can depend on him. The Bible says, Cause be unto that man who put trust in the man. Jeremiah to the level from the five down. Cause be, many people are under cause they don't know. Many people are under cause they don't know. I am not saying we should be, I put a let's pray together. Hey, sister, hey, do, hey, let's pray together. No. It doesn't mean I'm putting my trust in them. But if you now say without this man in your life, you cannot do, you are finished. <laughs> Yourself and that man are under, if, and if that man receives it that way, and really have it in mind, maybe he might not tell you, have it in mind, without me, this man cannot do, that man is under a curse. You that trust in the man, and the man that received the glory, maybe silently, both of you are under a curse. And I pray, after this exhortation now, that just enter me now, so many causes have been loose, and that, that blessing will come back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, so make you perfect. It's only God that can perfect you. Amen. Only Jesus that has the power to perfect you. Establish you. Strengthen you. Man has no strength Amen. to give any man. Man has no strength to give any man. No one say, my son, in my weakness, I mean, in your weakness, I will be your strength. No man can strengthen any man. When Christ was in Gethsemane, when he was lamenting, the, 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 uh, the apostles could not strengthen him. They fell asleep. That man you are putting your trust on. When you are sleeping, that man is sleeping. You'll be surprised. You will pray more than that man. You are, when you are fat, that man is eating of pork, eating egg, and butter. Oh, the more you are saying to that man, it's you that he tell you, I will fast and pray. I will tell my co people to, you know, those days, I mean, in Nigeria, some of them will say, I, I, I have people that fast with me, bring such an amount of money. Ooh. And for us to break, once you send it to the account, they will give you the money to eat egg and butter on your head. You see, that foolish woman. I know she will say it again. That spirit of foolishness die now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Say, so He will say to you, if you can wait on Him, wait upon the Lord and He shall perfect it. And Amen. He will say to you, that's why He said to us in verse 7, cast all your care upon Him, for He cared for you. Who is that man that cared for you? It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. We are sleeping. That man is sleeping. Hey, maybe sometimes when when stop to also wake up. Hey, hey, Father, bless them. Hey, bless. hey, don't put your trust in any major. Put your trust in God. God is enough for you. Amen. God is what is enough for you. For me, I don't know about you. I can never, never in my life put my trust in any man. No matter who you are. No matter what, no matter how rich you are, I have seen uncles who are very, very rich. I mean, very, very, very rich. If I like, say extra rich, well done. Even when I don't even know myself like this, I never put my trust in them. That's why right, today they don't know the kind of person I am. I was satisfied with the Gary I was drinking in the, in the, in the university. I was okay. That time, my wife, that time, now my wife, now, then she took. I was okay with the Gary with one shirt and one trouser every day. And people still be jealous, jealous of me. Hey, this young man, you are so. Yes. I know my God. I know my redeemer. I refuse to go and be a slave. I can 
cannot be a slave to God. I cannot be a servant of God. I to be a servant of man. It's not possible. And they never thought Apostle Man can be Europe today. They never thought. They thought without them, I'm finished. Hey, who said so? Who said so? Who said you will not make it? It's a lie. Who is he that said till that come to pass if the Lord has not ordained it? Hallelujah. It can never be. Yeah. It can never be. Lamentation 3, 37. Praise Master Jesus. I go back to the first second king chapter 4. Then, and the man of God said, let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her. And the Lord has hid it from me. I thought it's, it's so powerful to see everything, even when God closes it. I thought as far you have double portion of Elijah, it can force heaven to open and see what everyone will see. But it's a lie. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nobody had that power. Even when Christ was on earth here, he, he made us understand that before he do anything, he cried to his father. If Jesus Christ can say, Father, please. I know you all, you will always do it, but because of these people, do it again. What a bad man. He, he displayed to us, don't put your trust in a man. He said, I will look on to the hill. From where comes my help? My help comes from the Lord alone. Who made what? Heaven and earth. I think remember that should be in Psalm 1 to 1, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. I will look on to the hill. Where are you looking on to? If you look on to the shadow of God that there is, you remain there. If you look on to the valley where there is, you remain there. It's only God is up there. Look on to up there. And if you can look up there, you will you'll be up there. Say to yourself, I'm going up there now. I'm looking up there now. Say, I am going up there now. I am going up there now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. Say the Lord have hid it from me and had not told me. If God have not said it, how will you hear it? Amen. If God had not said it, he can hear it. God said, Elijah, this woman is not taking you as God now. I have to show you that you are not God. I mean, Elisha, there's, there, there's, there's something I want to do now for this woman not to go to hell and for you not to go to hell I have to limit you in her presence my glory I will never share with any man my glory I will never share with a man I am the king the King of Kings. Oh, I will never share my glory. Baba say, oh, my glory. Hey, hey. I will never share with him. Mm. My glory, Sister Manuela. I will never share with him. I am the Lord, the Lord of Lords. Hey, hey, my glory, hey. I will never share with a man. The glory of God upon your life. Don't ever share it with a man. My sister, Antonia Okaka. The glory of God upon your life. Don't ever share it with a pastor, apostle, a prophet. Give it to God alone. He owes it all. He said to me, my glory. I will never share it with a man. Oh, I will never share it with a man. Mm -hmm. My glory. I will never share it with a man. Never. Never. His glory is his glory. Verse 28. Then she said, did I, did I desire a son of my Lord? The man is, you know what he told you he told before, in verse 16. 
Let me go back to 16 again. And he said, about this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace the sun. As he said, this woman knows the limit of a man. He knows how far a man can go. Say, Mr. Man, don't say because I'm cooking puree for you. Don't start saying what you don't what you don't do yet. See, performing it is not the issue. Perform it and stay. That's why that the Lord was telling us. You can be a champion, but remain a champion is what you're talking about here. Only God, Jesus Christ, that can be a champion and hold on to the champion forever. He remained a champion forever. He was Satan. And forever and ever and ever he remained on the throne. No one said, The Lord God is on the throne. Let all the earth keep silent before him. Have a go to that 2 verse 20. Let all the earth, let all the prophets, all the pastors, all the apostles, all the kings, no matter you are, keep silent before him. Because he is dominating. And he will dominate forever. No challenger. Unstoppable stopper. The indestructible destroyer, the mountain mover, the talking and doing God. Hey, man of God, nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto me. Hmm. Then let's go back to verse 28 now. They said, Did I not desire, did I desire a son of my Lord? I was okay when you came. Everything was working fine. I have already put my mind in that the, the state I am. I was okay with my suffering. I was okay with the laughter people were laughing at me. I was not doing what I was doing because I had a child. I was all I gave you a heart because I just want to give it to, give it to you. I never did anything. I just I want to make sure you are comfortable. That's why I was doing what I was doing. What why are you doing what you are doing right now? Why are you doing that thing you are doing? What is the purpose of what you are doing? What is the, what 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 is that thing behind that action you are taking now? Praise Father Jesus. Hallelujah. Today said you man, say did I not say do not deceive me? Unless you are now have, have become a deceiver now. I thought if you give, I thought the best of God is forever. The best of God make anything and add no sorrow. What is this sorrow all about now? You know where I am running from. I have been, you know where, how long I've been crying. Did I desire this from you? Man of God? I like shall never know that God was doing something. God was working behind the scene. Elisha, if I leave you at this moment the way it is now, you'll go to hell. Apostle if I lead you the way it is now, if I don't bring out some of, all, of your limitation, people of this mountain will think you are not God, you go to hell. Apostle Emmanuel, if I just be, if I just answer all the prayers I'm just praying, doing everything for you, people will not think that you have extra power, I have a better not answer some. So I some say, ah, this man, let me go back home and pray by myself. If I don't limit you, Elisha, this woman might send you to hell. You know, I don't share my glory. This man, she even hardly pray to me. It's not pray to you, Elisha. So I better let her know that baby that came is not from you. It's from me. All blessing come from the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 29. Then he said to Gazi, Get up the lungs and I cannot say under that foolishness now because I hold my mouth here. He still believe I can do it. I am a man of God, double portion. I can't I can just say anything to, to just, just like that. I don't need to cause with God. The power is already in me. This man, trust me, I will not let her down. I better do something on my own. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Woman, you trust me. I will tell you that I am him that you trusted. Then he said, verse 29, then he said to Gazi, you never know Gazi was also having, having another plan. <laughs> Get out the limbs and take my staff in the hands because the staff fell from the master. 
the star can do anything. The star that becomes, even to him, star that become God. To the woman, Elisha become God. To Elisha, star become God. Who are you taking as God now? Is it the apostle or your husband? Both of them are fast. Let's go up there. Let's go up there. Is that a pastor you are calling in Nigeria, in Africa? Are you talking of God? He will, he will kill him one day. And you know what will happen. And you cannot say anything about it. Many pastors are sent to her today because of, of members. They put their trust in them and they start misbehaving. They start acting as if they are God. They used to start to cover God. They used to start to block God. And they come out as God to the people. No wonder some, some pastors say, don't confess sin in my church here. Someone like David Oyelubo. If you dare mention Christ there, everybody, nobody cares. But if you mention Oyelubo, everybody, hey, don't mention my papa. Foolishness. But one day, one day, they don't know who, who is papa. If you papa, you come out. So I'm asking you now, brother, sister, who is your papa? Who do you call? The woman was calling Elijah. Elijah was calling the stick. <laughs> hey, let's move on. Then said Gazi. Then he said to Gazi, Get all the limbs and take my staff in the hand. God said, Oh no, take it and go there. And go that way. He that meet any man, salute him not. He was doing <laughs> Abacadabra. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, he took away God. I, I, I begin to say, <laughs> Jesus, Father, help me, oh. Jesus, help me, eh. Father, help me, oh. Don't let me make myself a God. Father, help me, oh. Jesus, help me, eh. Father, help me, oh, don't let me take your glory. Hey, if that meet any man, don't salute him. And if any man salute you, answer him not again. And lay my staff upon the face of the child. Boom. Yes, that is the power of self. No, say the Lord says, hey, God. You gave me this child. Father, what do I do? There was no one that said, Elijah, I want to pray. Elijah, I want to pray. No, no prayer. I trust in my staff. Why do you want to trust in my Elijah, in my man of God? You trust in that man of God, that man of God trusts in his anki. One day, all of you will fail. That man of God trusts in that thing. He will touch before it, before it comes to you. Both of one day, if you don't repent, both of you will fail. And if you fail and die, you go to hell. God is the only supreme master, the only power that has power. It was just like, uh, uh, see, see this man. I'm trying to show you that you are limited, you are still fully yourself to this man. Praise Master Jesus. And then. If any man salute you, don't salute you, don't salute you back. Verse 30. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as the soul liveth, I will not leave you. Even though you send the, 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 the staff, I will not leave you. You are the one that I trust. Now stick, I don't trust it. Praise Master Jesus. Elisha, you are the one I come for. Even though you, you double the cloth, double the stick. And I had other to it, put it on the set. I will not leave you. You are the one that I trust. And I said, I said I'm saying, No, I, you are trusting me. I trust the stick of my master. Follow stick. Mm. Look at the drama here. Woman is trusting a man, and man is trusting a stick. <laughs> hey. Jesus, I better trust in the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? I better trust in Jesus, who will never fail me when a uh, brother died. Judah is Carol. Is it just Carol? No. Yeah. What's that mother died now? 
Lazarus. Thank you, thank you, sir. When Lazarus died, Jesus Christ not put shade and say, Peter, can you share and go there? He went there direct and did it. He said, Father, oh, Jesus, may your name be glorified forever. This is the King of Kings. He knew what to do. Say, let us go. He doesn't say, take, my, take one of my shoes and go there, put it on the grave, and uh, let, uh, 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 it will come out. Jesus Christ said, let us go there. And when he get there, he kneel down. Humble, fa humble son of the humble father. The humble son. Apostle man, can you see the picture? He went there himself. I am going. Said he no one here. I came to die. I said no one. Help Jesus. I am going by myself. I am said in no one. My father, you will take that glory. He went there myself. I call him out. And the name of his father was glorified. If that man had gone there, Gazi had gone there and did it in wake up, Gazi will kindly stick around the way and say, Let me go. I shall look for you. know Gazi now. You know what? Hallelujah. You know what guys can do. Hey, this is the stick. Elisha, you always finish. This is hand over ceremony. You are just handed over to me now. Stick. Elijah, bye bye. Stick. Let's go to the other city. If you see cow, you put your cow. Anything you see, we put, your, put it on it. So they will know Gazi have arrived. And you will start collecting money. God say, You, Gazi, Elisha, the woman, all of you are full of you. Until Elisha will come down. And do what you need to do. Until Sister Rose, hey go, man, do be Do what she need to do. She just wasted time. There's something you need to do. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, oh Lord, show me what I need to do for your name to be glorified in my life. Open what I pray. Say, oh Lord, yeah, reveal to me what I need to do. For your name to be glorified in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this prayer. Oh Lord, open my eyes to know what I need to do. For your name to be glorified in my life. In this situation, in this situation, I am tired of doing this on my own. I'm tired of what, what I'm tired of, of falling men. Open my eyes to see what I need to do for your name to glorify. Jesus, this time around, your name must be glorified. Almighty God, this time around, your name must be glorified. Open my eyes to know what I need to do. What do I need to do? What should I do? Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. And the man said to him, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. Okay, she said, I'm your God now. Let's go. Let me go. Ask your God that you call me. I'm telling you, we shall see my boy with a stick on the road, with your son coming back. He never knew the Lord was doing another thing. Mm. I got the pass on before them. I laid the staff upon the God of the election now, upon the child. But there was nothing, no voice, no hearing. Whether he went again to meet him and told him, saying, the child is not awake. How will he be awake when he wants to be a stick? How will they awake when Elisha wanted to tell the woman, I told you I will do it. I told you that with this thing you are covered. Hey, who can cover who? The Bible says, except the Lord watch over, except the Lord build the house, the builder build for the vain. Except a man watch, except the Lord watch over the city, the watch man watch for the vain. I remember that can see this Psalm 1, 2, 7. Right? So I want to say one. Yes. yes. I said, Lord, watch over you, sister Joy. Your husband is just a sister. If the day God will take his eye away, 
both you, your husband, and children will bundle away. But when, when God is watching you, they almost say, Yes, eh, I did this. Whoa. Don't break the edge. If you break the edge, you see the limit of your husband. If you break the edge, you see the limit of that of that protector you say you have in your house. That, that war is nothing but blow blow. This war around us. If the law oh, the law allowed the to enter, this war we are looking at is like blow blow. They will burst it and enter. You know, it's, 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 there is no war around us. The only war we have is, the, is Christ, Jesus Christ. The day he leaves, you will know how empty you are. Rain will burst your heart and enter. And I pray, God grant us wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And when he went again to meet him and told him, told him saying, The child is not awake, verse 31. Let's one see. And when Elisha was called unto the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door. Hey! Now we are talking. Shut the door! It's a time to be quiet. It's a time you are God alone. Say to yourself, I am God alone. I am God alone. Hey! Shut it up! This is what Christ will say. Hey, everybody stay outside. Peter, come. Let's go inside. Jesus Christ is wisdom, is powerful. Shut it up upon, upon, upon the twins and pray unto who? The Lord! Now he's doing it. Now he wants to glorify the Lord now. Can you see now? Now, the stick has failed. And let's have failed. Let's see if God will fail. Mm. Jesus, you are worthy. Jesus, you are worthy. Every knee must bow before him. Philippians 2, verse 8 to 10. Every tongue must confess. Thank Jesus Christ, Lord. Your double portion will not work in this one. If you, if you do you have triple portions, this one, Elisha, I will bring your knee down before this woman. You will glorify me in her presence. Because I have never hear you saying, God will do it. I have only been saying, you have only been saying, I am doing it. You, still, you hold the stick very long stick in your present. She's glorifying you while you are glorifying the stick. This time around, you will glorify me. Both you, the woman, and the stick, all of, you, all of you bow down before me today. If you can bow down before the Lord, I say, Lord, I take away apostasy right now. I take away apostasy right now. I take away everyone that is right now. You and I alone. My knees are there for you. Watch out and see. The Lord will never. He said, Call Venak to God. And he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon the child. After he had prayed, he said, Now, see what you will do. Not that what you were doing today on your own. Do it this way. And he did it. He did it. And if you read further, the child stretched himself and flesh came back upon him. It became warm. And the life came back to him again. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I remember when a, a, a brother died in, in this mountain. After about five hours or six hours, I was crazy. My son don't cry when you cry. Go there and bring it back. Instruction. Instruction. Where God sent you forth, He will perform it for you. Don't cry. Go there. After the policemen, the daughter, they have lost hope. Every hope was lost. Go there. After eight or nine hours, the Lord brought him back to life. Instruction. 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 How far do you wait upon the Lord to give instruction before you move? And I tell you, every instruction without direction leads to frustration. If God instructs you, ask him for direction. Ask him for direction. Instruction without direction leads to frustration. Just as I say, vision without direction leads to what? Frustration. Praise Master Jesus. The question is again, who are you trusting now? The stick of the pastor? The pastor himself? 
or God that called the pastor. If you want to remain in that problem, the church is yours. And you want to be, if you want to be free, the church is yours today. Choose it these days who you will serve. If it's the man of God you'll be serving, keep it up. And you will remain where you are forever. But if it's God that made the heaven and the earth, that called the man of God you will serve, and will fight God in your life, oh, you'll be well with you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. A word is enough for the wife. He told me right now, my son, is what you say to my children, so that they will learn wisdom, that all those things that they say to them, I want to glorify myself in their lives. As far as they are putting my first, it will never be done. Are you ready to surrender all to Jesus Christ? Are you ready to remove the man from the picture? I tell you, if you can come down as Elisha came down, I said, Ah, my stick has told me. Ah, my words have told me. Ah, upon all this man know me to be. What is this? Does it mean this man will not be giving me food again? This, does it mean this room will be taken from me now? It should not be taken from me. Men of God, bring down yourself before the Lord. If we men of God can humble ourselves before the Lord and tell the people the truth, everything we ask you will be doing it because you know we want to glorify Him. I tell Apostle, Apostle Abraham today what the Lord showed to me. It took, it took me for, to a very big program. After the preaching, I mean, raw preaching, I, I was not. Just, it was just tears that was coming out of my eyes. People were falling under anointing. Healing everywhere. Vomiting. Just, just preaching. Yes, I was pretty. I was crying. Hello, hey, hey. See, as tears were coming out, I see people vomiting. I know it everywhere. The Lord came down. I was going to say, hey, so, yeah, this is how it goes. He sent for the word, and the word healed them. I pray this word will heal somebody right now. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is nothing the Lord cannot do if only we can bend our knees for Him. If only we can bend our, bend our head for Him. Let that word be fulfilled in your life. Every knee shall bow to Him. And Amen. every tongue shall confess Amen. that the Lord is God. If you can fulfill this, your knee, your knee bow for Him. And your tongue confess, hey, He will do it. But some of us, our knees will bow, our tongue will not confess. Our tongue will confess, our knees will not bow. Do the two. Even Lord Jesus Christ. Oh. Hmm. A word is enough for those, those that will learn wisdom. In the Lord, bless this word in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want you to pray the Lord from today. Even though my knees refuse to, to bow, break it. If my door refuse to open, pull it, let it open by force. My knees from today will always bow before God the Lord. And my tongue you will always be open to glorify Him. Open your mouth and pray. Say, my tongue, you have no power yourself anymore. You must open your mouth. My knees you must bow before the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, only you. Like only you would like to defy. I don't know your problem right now. I don't know the situation. I see the God that showed me that revelation this day night. He's about to do something right now. If you can sincerely pray, I tell you that problem will drop out. Whatever sickness, whatever problem, it will go down. It will go down. Bow your head before the Lord. Bow your knees before the Lord. Except you are pregnant. Go on your knees. If you're in your house, go down on your knees. Hey, Elisha did it. And the power of God manifested. Go on your knees and say, Lord, hey, I bow my knees before you. 
You are my king. You are my lord. I've tried, men of God. They failed me. I've tried myself. They failed me. But right now, Jesus, thou alone. Come on, take your glory. 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 In the life of my husband, take your glory. In the life of my wife, take your glory. In the life of my children, take your glory. In that document, take your glory. In my health, take your glory. I never trust them anymore. Thou alone, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Jesus, you are worthy. Savior, thou art worthy. Thou alone is worthy to be praised. Thou alone is worthy to be praised. Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy, Baba. Savior, thou art worthy. Thou alone, thou worthy to be praised. Alpha and Omega, thou alone, thou worthy to be praised. Can you sing it with me? Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy, Baba. Oh, Savior, thou art worthy. Thou alone. Jesus, command the problem. 
No marvelous sickness. Say, Jesus, come and honor your name. Come and glorify your name in my situation, in my marriage, in love of my husband, in love of my wife. Hey, in this my situation, come and do it to your own glory. Come and do it to your own honor. Come and do it to your own glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, thou alone, you alone, I will glorify. You alone, I will exalt. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because I know you are doing it. Because I know you are doing it. You will never let any ah, you will never let us down. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You will not raise up God and you bring yourself down. It's not possible. As you have told him to come up with myself, surely he has done it in Jesus' name. Amen. And you will come back and say that very day that I remove all men, I remove myself, I remove my husband, and I put God alone. That day he answered me. And I'm here. To testify to the jury alone. I will come to such testimony. And you will also come to share such testimony. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless the word in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. No, if you are there, you are not born again. Even though you go and kneel down, you are wasting time. You must be born again. A certain man is born again, he or she cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Say after me, if you want to glorify the name of the Lord in your life. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. And I'll just be told, I said I'm born again. Everything I would do after now is nonsense. I am a sinner. Have mercy upon me. Wash me clean with your blood. I accept you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. Come into my life. Come and dwell in me. I am born again today. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. For saving my soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I have declared this declaration. I bless God for your life. You are wise. And I pray from today henceforth, everything you will do will be refined in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. The grace to hold on to this salvation, the grace for this salvation to always bring glory to, to the Almighty God. Receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. That's it. I just phone is off. I mean, it's a. Um, it's a. Um, yeah, you understand? Yeah, we'll call you back now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah.